Hey LinkedIn, uh, just about to run out of here and thought I'd do a quick video. I just want to share this message. Uh, and, and we were talking about it today a little bit and it came up and it's come up multiple times over the years. And just this this idea that, um, you know, I've, I've, I've said this before and it might even be written in my book, but basically this idea that if you're on post, if you're in a role, if you're, you know, fully on a post, you'd be creating and innovating on that post all the time. And so when you think about it, like if someone's coming up with ideas or you need ideas from someone else, uh, or you're, you're not really generating ideas or innovations or improving that role, or, you know, even asking other people, Oh, what should I do? Or what content or whatever. You're just kind of looking for feedback on something. You're not really, you know, on that post. You're not really on that role, not fully. And when you really look at owning a role, it includes not just doing the tasks and getting through everything, but it also includes inventing that role and creating that role further and, and finding ways to do it better and, and innovating on that role. Like how can I, you know, what can we be doing to, to grow it, to expand, to attain the objectives, to be aligned with the organizational goals. And, you know, it, it, it's true in any role that you're that you're doing and I've had over the years scenarios where you know maybe people are coming to me or asking me for ideas for example even just ideas ideas about oh you know what should I do with this or, or I find myself sometimes coming up with ideas for their role or related to what they're doing and saying have you done this have you tried this do this do this do this and you know, I, I like coming up with ideas. I love, I love innovating, but to the degree that a player isn't doing that in their role is also to some degree they're, they're not really on post. They're not really in their role, not fully. So, you know, there is an element of like, just you got to execute the targets. You got to ask, execute the tasks, but there's also, you know, that kind of a player mentality of like, like invent your role further and innovate on your role further and come up with new ideas and what else can you do and how can you sort of grow that role to align with the organizational uh, objectives and, and things that are going on um, so you don't get stale, right? So the role doesn't stagnate. So, you know, you're, it, 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 it is growing. And, and by doing that, you're inevitably gonna grow within the organization, you know? And it's easy to kind of fall into a routine or the same things, even if it's just when you think about, you know, I mean, shoot, even coming up with what you're going to eat for dinner. If, if you're if you're the if you're the chef, if you're the person coming up with that, you're you, you, you kind of wear that role. It's like, well, you should you could be innovating on that and looking at like what what else can we do, you know? And it, it's true in any role w when you think about it. Um, to the degree that you're really inventing and creating that role, you're really you really are on post and if you aren't or you're kind of in a routine or in a rut to some degree you're not really owning and not really on that role not really on post right um and you know i i think there's the standard actions and there's the routine and the things you got to do but you also got to every every day you know you got to create more you got to innovate and create more on that role and if everybody in an organization does that, and they do it in an aligned fashion with with, with the vision of where the organization is trying to go, everybody's going to benefit from that. Not just the organization, but you will benefit as well.